I'm like looking off camera to be reminded how to wave. <laughs> like the robot's doing it better than me. <laughs> okay guys, my first time recycling an iPhone here. So this is Daisy, Apple's recycling robot. This one Daisy robot machine can recycle up to 1.2 million iPhones per year. So let's get this going. Hopefully I didn't mess it up. Oh, here we go. What's up guys, my name is Sarah Dichi, it rhymes with Peachy. Today we are kind of in an undisclosed location here in Texas to check out Apple's materials recovery lab. So this is where iPhones get recycled. What is really cool, I'll just give you a little preview. So this, this is Daisy. We're gonna get to her in a minute, okay? But what you see behind us is more of a traditional e-waste recycling machine so simply put this is the more traditional way to recycle e-waste there's a ton of different methods that basically separates metals from plastics from paper but the thing with this is it doesn't separate everything with a great deal of accuracy basically you'll have one station that gets a lot of metals together that big jar of metals then gets sent to a factory that can use the copper but it only takes the copper so there kind of is a lot left behind. Even though this is helpful, it could be better. So that is why Apple made Daisy. So these four modules here help recycle iPhones. So we're going to start with the first module and I'm sorry, I'm cheating. I have notes. I'm not smart enough for this stuff. I will say though, my electrical engineering professors would be proud of me. Look at me now, you know? Okay, so here we have the first module. So this is going to separate the display from the iPhone. to the second module that actually removes the battery. It's so funny, things seem so simple as I'm just saying it, but there's a lot going on back here. So how the battery is removed, you basically get a big gust of really cold air that loosens the adhesive of the battery. The battery drops and then someone retrieves it at the bottom. So then we have module three over here. So this third module removes the screws and their first prototypes of these robots, they called uh, him Liam. They all have very fun names, but basically the problem is it wasn't super accurate. It was kind of hard to screw each individual screw. So some of the innovation here, um, they basically said, okay, how can we work with this? Let's be a little bit more aggressive. And Daisy, just like that sound, bangs out the screws. So once the phones reach module four, Daisy separates all the different components, pieces, and parts, and then they end up on this conveyor belt. And then these modules get sorted by humans and then get thrown into these big bins, kind of like these over here. They get sent off and then the process starts again. Okay, so when making this video, I looked at the few that already existed. And the top critique was basically like, okay, 200 iPhones an hour. That's actually pretty impressive. However, comma, you know, a lot of iPhones are being bought per hour. Um, you know, probably many, many more than 200. So like, how is this making a dent? Come to find out in between two different Daisy robots, they actually aren't at full capacity. So how do you get your phone to Apple uh, so they can build more and more Daisy robots and we can put them to work? Well, you trade in your iPhone through the Apple trade-in program. And through that program, your phone can either be refurbished uh, so it can be used again by someone else or it gets sent to Daisy. And then, you know, best case scenario, if you're not using that same phone for years or years, maybe you pass it to a family member to use or you sell it. The longer the life of a phone, the better, right? And that just reminds me that, well, you know, last year Apple announced a new self-service program that's going to make it easier for individuals to repair phones, starting with the basics, like replacing screens, batteries, etc. making sure you have the replacements, tools, and manuals to do that, which is so important to accomplish 
accomplish these same goals that, you know, Daisy sets out to accomplish. So that was announced last year. It's supposedly supposed to launch this year. So Apple, we are still waiting. We are still excited for that. So let us know. <laughs> um, okay, so this this was like a ton of fun. Anytime there are robots involved, I get kind of excited. It was cool. Let me know if you like this video. Hit that subscribe button down below for new videos every single week. And hey, if you wanna check out a really fun video that I recently did, check it out. I went to Five Below and reviewed really cheap tech. It was a blast and the results may surprise you. Okay, stay peachy. Okay, bye.